Call your personal injury lawyer. It's been whiplash. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Puppet's Daily Update. And man, what a day. It was getting whiplash all over the place. The markets were down big overnight. Really all the way up. We're up big, made new highs. Went down again, went up again, went down again. Like I said, call your PI lawyer. It's like a case of whiplash. It's been unbelievable uh, activity today. Uh, I think what you're really saying, though, is that the tech is still under dramatic pressure. And of course, that is no surprise. They were very much overpriced. And again, we continue to hear the pundits and the experts tell us that this time is different and that we've got to, we're going to rally just buy and buy and buy. And of course, those are the same ones who talked to you in 2000, 2007. And if they're old enough, they went back to 1987. Again, we're not predicting doom and gloom or collapse in this market. We are just telling you that we are at a very key point and very key stage of this market. And it could certainly break out to the upside and make a new up leg. But more than likely, we're going to now start to see the down leg. We're in, A, a very volatile quarter, which is the fourth quarter. We've got earnings coming out, which, again, I'm sure will be fine. But you're already starting to see some downgrades. I mean, Netflix got downgraded. Uh, J.P. Morgan got clobbered off of their earnings. So, again, markets are very efficient at pricing in the data well ahead of time. So unless they really knock the doors off and are better than expected, I expect this to be a very down quarter, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see the markets really fall apart here. You've got the VIX, which is down today, but hovering around the 20 level. Now, this is about 45 minutes before the close of the market, just so you know what time I'm, what, where I'm, what I'm referencing here. You have the Russell having a big bounce. Well, gee, it's been down about nine days in a row and got absolutely obliterated, uh, so why wouldn't it rally? The NASDAQ remains under pressure. The Dow, as we have talked about many times, is the safe haven place where money goes if they're trying to find someplace, if they're rotating. And the S&P has been on both sides of unchanged, not huge one way or the other. So again, the markets do not look bullish. A dead cat bounce would be no surprise. We talked about that over the weekend. We are looking for a dead cat bounce. We want to sell into these rallies. That is exactly the type of action we'd like to see. So we're happy about the dead cat bounce and would look for opportunities to sell because we believe there's a lot more room to go on the downside. It's, it's real basic, okay? You cannot go up forever until you have some selling. There's gonna be some profit taking, some selling, and again, the numbers are good, but they're not as good as we're pricing into the market. The equities are telling you that six to nine months from now, there's gonna be problems. We're not gonna have the same kind of growth, but in the meantime, we keep making excuses because of the hurricanes, because of the weather. There's always a reason why, and then all of a sudden, the reason disappears and the markets get clobbered. So we expect to see some pretty consistent selling. Now again, 2,700 in the S&P, I would expect to see a bounce from there. Uh, and I would be willing to sell it back at 2,780 or 2,800. And then I expect it to break through there. Remember, we had the same discussion when we were talking about gold, when it came down from 1,400 down to 1,200, actually below 1,200. So again, this is the same pattern. If you remember the one thing we talk about often, Markets always repeat themselves. The patterns always repeat. Forget about the index that you're looking at. In the meantime, we wrote over the weekend to our ag subscribers. We expected a big move in grains. And sure enough, here it was. Uh, soybeans up 24 cents, wheat up 8 cents, corn up about 5 cents. A nice, big, juicy rally. And that's where we think the money is going to. They keep saying, well, the money's trying to rotate to where? I think the money's rotating to ag space, which has been our thesis the entire time. It looks to me like cattle Live and feeders have both bottomed. Hogs continue to push higher. So I think we, we bounced off a of level as we should have bounced off, and I think we're looking really good here. The bonds took a late day sell off today. No surprise. We expected to see the bonds sell off. Why? Well, because they had rallied, and we're, we're very bearish the bonds anyways because we think interest rates are going higher. Dollar rallied back a little bit, was still a little bit down on the day. Uh, oil uh, was up, opened up, gapped on an open last night, was down on the day came back and closed somewhere near the flat line. Gold, once again, pushed up to that 1240 level. So we'll see if it can, can continue to maintain. Watch the 1220 on the downside. Again, these are all very important numbers to watch for and the way that you can see markets trading. Uh, the Bitcoin and cryptos were higher today. Again, they were down last week. Everybody wants to make a big deal, 18 billion, but that's really not that big of a deal when you look at the big picture. We are, again, still buyers of cryptos. We are still buyers of, of other things. 
I mean, we like the grain space. We like the gold. We like gold. Not so much buying it here, but we do like it. We wouldn't chase into any market. That's one thing we always want to warn you about. Don't chase price. Let price come to you if you miss it. Because remember, the mantra from the daily update and from the Bubba show and from everything else is it's better to wish you were in the trade than you weren't. So we'll see what happens. Again, markets are, are, are very jumpy and very jittery, as we talk about with the case of whiplash. And let's see, see how they trade from here. It'll be an interesting week to see. We've got uh, you know, options expiration coming up this Friday. We have one every Friday, but we have a monthly coming up. So we'll see what that means. But we're looking for lower prices. We're looking to sell rallies. And that's really what we expect. I, I expect no different than an opportunity to continue to get short this market. And I would not be surprised to see us fall by the end of the year and actually close the year negative from where we are right now. So I think we look for opportunity to sell, and it could get ugly, but we're, we, we don't predict that. We simply just look at the levels where we are, and our next level right now would be the key to watch would be 2,700 in the S&P. That's the way I see it. This is Bubba's Daily Update for Monday. Uh, of course, don't forget our high school program, highschoolinvesting.com. Uh, if you'd like to help us out, go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And don't forget to catch the Bubba Show every day from 4 to 5 Eastern at LibertyTalk.fm. And, of course, football tonight, Monday Night Football. A tough game. Uh, I'd have to say that if I was going to lean, I'd have to lean to the Green Bay Packers, but I hate to lay, hate to lay nine points. So we're going to say for, for like a pizza and a beer or a pizza and a Pepsi, whatever it is you prefer, we would, we would take the, uh, the, the, the Green Bay Packers just for kicks, for kicks and grins. Have a great day, everybody. This is Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you back here tomorrow.